Chester County, Pennsylvania. Stay tuned. All right, we're talking about how to live and why to live and the best places to live and everything all about living in Chester County, Pennsylvania. Thanks for stopping back by, everybody. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate and information expert here in Chester County. Now, we do have an office in Chester County, but let's get to it. What about Chester County makes it so Chester county E. So on any website, in any newspaper, in any magazine, on any fax machine, do they still have those? Chester County is highly touted throughout the state, throughout the area. It's always coming up as the best place to live, highest ranking school districts, best real estate agent. No, but seriously, Chester County has so much to offer and so much to give on multiple platforms, on the internet, in writing, constantly and consistently, Chester County has the best areas to live in for many reasons. Price point of homes, the taxes that you're paying on those houses, what you get, the benefit from the community, population density, the employment rate, the unemployment rate, cost of living in general. There are so many little towns to mention. We gotta talk about Chesterbrook and Berwyn and Devon, Phoenixville, we got Coatesville, Downingtown. Man, there are so many. We got Exton, we got Kennett Square. So we'll focus in on a few today and one of them will be West Chester. Now this is the county seat, also the home of the Golden Rams. Go Rams! Now I went to West Chester University, so I'm a big place in my heart for West Chester University and West Chester Borough. West Chester Borough, first of all, you got Epic School District. Median price point around $400,000. But we can get you into something in the district, in the borough, or out just outside of the borough, walkable yet, for under a couple hundred thousand dollars. There's a ton of opportunity in the Westchester area, but the historic town has got such cool places to go and visit. You got a really super walkable town, great places to eat, fun places to go and visit. It's got a great music scene, awesome shops, and a stellar university. So Westchester is in the brandy wine community. So you've got the best of both worlds. You've got that town city living Westchester Borough, and then you've got the beautiful Bucolic. Now, I didn't know what Bucolic meant, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, Mrs. Rittenhouse from third grade would be happy to hear that I'm <laughs> pronouncing things properly. But it means rolling hills, essentially. And yeah, there's a ton of countryside in Chester County, no doubt. So Brandywine Valley is aptly named. Chester County, in my opinion, is like the best for sightseeing. You can drive around, you can get out and walk, but you can be driving around and be in a Westchester Borough type historic atmosphere. Then you're going to head over and see covered bridges or you can see the battlefields of Brandywine and, <clears throat> and then you can do some walk, walkable spots too. So it's really a great sightseeing spot. Uh, but Westchester is a great place to go and live, eat, live in Chester County. Also in Chester County, conveniently located near Delaware and Maryland, still in Pennsylvania, of Course. We got Kennett Square. Now that's home of Longwood Gardens. It's the mushroom capital of the world. You got to check out our Longwood Gardens video. But Kennett Square has got an excellent school district, super great price point for housing, a ton of opportunity for housing right in that half a million dollar price point. There's a ton of wineries in that area, beautiful open spaces, great parks, great family atmosphere. You got Kennett Square Borough, another cool walkable spot. <laughs> It has a ton of activities for young people and for families, also for older people. So Chester County, generally, the cost of living across the board is only 20% higher than the national average. That's a pretty big deal when you think about how much it costs to live, right? And everything that you're getting, really a great point in our fair state. We talked about Montgomery County in another video. Check out the videos. While you're checking out the videos, hit subscribe. Helps the channel, please. So uh, unemployment in Chester County is just around the national average at three and a half percent, which is really motivating. It's, it's exciting to know that, that we're, we're right in line. Uh, it's sad that some people are out of work, but even in these days and times, it's, it's good to have that uh, possibility. They're also forecasting in Chester County that Jobs will be coming in at a rate of a 
about a half a percent per year over the next 10 years. We've got a median home price in Chester County of about $350,000. There are so many great opportunities for under 100. And of course, if you're looking for luxury or mansions or bucolic hills, maybe some farmland, or you want to open your own winery, give us a call. So education, I got to say it, best schools in the state. Hands down, literally, not just because the internet said it. It's because I said it. It must be true. We got more than 92% of people graduating from our public school system. And there are a super ton, super duper ton of mountains getting tongue tied here. There are multiple other options besides public schools, which are commendable. A lot of private schools in the area. So let's talk about crime. Chester County is under the 20 percentile of crime, including violent crimes. So that means 80 more crimes will take place <laughs> elsewhere than in Chester County, which is a pretty big deal. And it's exciting to know that we live in a safe, quality area. Now, we also have an office in Chester County. We have a couple offices in Chester County. Look, we work in every county. We work all over. We work all the time. We never sleep. Point being is we're here to help with anything that you need. So weather, is it cold in here? Winter time in Chester County is uh, it's beautiful, but it's very cold. Just like the opposite of that, summertime can get very, very hot. And really, it's not the heat so much as the humidity. There's probably four or five months between that and the springtime, which are very beautiful especially in Longwood Gardens, especially in the mushroom capital of the world as well. We do have all four seasons and fall is, is really as beautiful when the leaves start changing colors in the Brandywine Valley. It's, it's breathtaking. It's beautiful. It really is. You got to like snow though and like shoveling and bring your fair supply of salt. Chester County is a melting pot, if you will, of religion as well. Thousands of religions across the world there are they are all welcome here. And, and we get a lot of questions about that. And, and people are, it's important to them. And I want to mention it, that Chester County, you can feel safe and feel comfortable to practice your religion, no matter which one it is. So Chester County, like Montgomery County, check out our Montgomery County video, but Chester County is, they say, is in the middle of everything. Now, depending on where you go, because you could be uh, uh, far south Chester County and be literally on the border of Maryland or Delaware. But it's an easy commute to get to where you need to be. You need to go to Jersey, you need to go to Maryland, you need to go to Delaware. It's not far from New York. You're close to Center City. You're close to Philadelphia. You're close to getting outside of those areas towards the state capital and uh, western towards Ohio and so forth. Although you're several hours to get to Ohio, don't get me wrong. But it's a great local spot to be. And it has everything you would ever need. You got Brandywine Valley, you got covered bridges, you got history, you got modernization. Chester County has a, a really great blend of everything. You want to be in a city type environment, we got you covered in Westchester. You want to be in the, the rolling hills, the farmlands, got you covered there too. If you're looking for some more information on Chester County, hit me up. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. You can send us a letter, send us a fax. We get a ton of calls all the time. We're happy to help. I'm Gregory Martyr, your local real estate expert coming at you here from Chester County, Pennsylvania to see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.